Hi, I'm about to start playing Dargons. At least I think that's uh, how to pronounce it. I was just fiddling with the menu here. Um, I don't think you can actually use the D-pad on the controller, which is a little strange. But whatever, we'll just deal with that later. Not terribly important. Are those Rixels? Okay. Yeah, I feel like I say this every time I play one of these games, but like, designing an anime girl takes a long time. And I'm not going to do it in the middle of the video. No solid black, whatever. I can't see what these outfits are. <laughs> yeah, it's extremely hard to see. Wait, what? How did that cause a player two to appear? you started the game, okay. That was a little strange. Anyway, um, yeah, D-pad support would be useful. This is interesting. I see there's a lot of momentum. I love short hopping. I used to be a melee player, so I always do that stuff. Animations seem pretty cool. The misaligned, the, <laughs> the Mixels and Rixels are not just a meme, I think. I feel as if that's an actual thing. I mean, I know there are some games that have that style, but it's something I'm not used to for sure. Because I'll, I, it always looks like they're little artifacts um, when the pixels are not like on the grid. Wait, what is that? Okay, so that green bar is like your AP or whatever. Like a limit to how many attacks you can use at once. Okay. I do like the, the, the polish about how like... Like you have to hold the button to... You have to hold circle to like pick up an item and then hold it more to eat it or use it in some way. And then all the while that little sound effect is playing. I don't know why, but like holding buttons is sometimes more satisfying than tapping buttons. It's a juice. Basically. And I mean, that little, that little graphics effect is pretty cool too. The text folding back in. Anyway, in terms of actual gameplay. Um, that door, uh, that was locked. This is where I came out of. I went here, there's nothing much. There is an oil lamp, which I'm sure will be important. Can I bounce off this? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. This is this is getting exciting. Now, wh what would be the button to wall jump or wall run? More importantly, can I have enemies to beat up? I don't know if it matters what direction I press. Can't I find this? Okay. Interesting. Um, is this game procedurally generated? It feels like it will be, but I can't always tell. Okay, hang on. There's an uppercut and a like a sweep kinda. And then three hit combo, and you can't you 
you can't cancel the jab into anything else. So okay, it's pretty straightforward. Wait, what's that? Okay, okay. So it's only those three types of attacks as far as I know. Was I not supposed to drink that? Oops. Hey, it's a life. Okay. Um. I can't actually fall through. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, I'm dying because of that potion of lightning. Maybe I was supposed to feed it to an enemy or something. I don't know. Well, that's how you throw? Okay, I just discovered the throw button by accident, and I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, okay. This game has more buttons than I first anticipated. Okay, you can cancel attacks into a dodge roll. That's always a lot of fun. Yeah, I think at least... Chili is chili powder going to kill me if I eat it now? I feel like it might. But chili powder is tasty. Why would it kill me? Okay, hang on. I can't actually eat it, but I can throw it at an enemy. So if I go here... I am an idiot. <laughs> that did not work as well as I hoped. Will it keep your custom your character customizations between playthroughs? It should, right? I don't know what kind of hero I want. These are such profound questions. And the character is so tiny that it's hard to see what's going on. Okay, yeah, it's procedural generation. to read that in time. Oh. So how many hits does it take to kill this guy? Eight? Yeah, I think it's eight hits. I still took damage there, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I saw a comment about double tapping. So you can run by double tapping. Those are spikes. How much more was key hurt? Wait, what? 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 Okay, you can infinite combo like that. This is like that melty blood attack. Oh, and you can down smash. Uh, down air around. Okay, what was that about arm chops? Did I lose an arm or something? Like, I don't think I lost an arm because I'm s I still have lots of HP. I feel like I'm doing fine. Okay, no, I definitely lost an arm because she's holding the key with her mouth. And the gameplay implications are, wait, no. You can still throw a key, even with no arm. It's kind of cool that the enemies can climb. What is this? I just stole someone's sword. I don't even know what happened to my key anymore. Am I going to die from that? I should have stopped, dropped, and rolled. Well, th this is definitely the type of game that takes some thinking. Much like Spelunky and all those, you have to actually be strategic.
Okay, that auto equipped. That was cool. So, am I supposed to eat these potions myself? That's part of part of the issue. Hmm. I really like the visual effect for that, for snapping to a ledge. And it feels good too. J just like the juice and stuff is really nice. Okay, so these are things that you're supposed to throw at enemies. I like how there's some fake, like, anti-gravity at the top of the throw. All that work just for one damage. Whoa, that was cool. You can do, like, a dash attack. how I did the dash attack. Maybe I didn't. I just thought I did. Is salt also bad for you? So it's kind of hard to read that font. It looks like it says 10 instead of 2. It's neat that the whole screen moves, th that the camera moves as you navigate the UI. That's some really nice polish. But first of all, this is complicated. And I don't think I can do anything. I don't exactly know what the blue bar up there is yet. Obviously red is health and green is your abilities. Did I already use mushrooms? I, I forgot already. Okay, mushrooms were good for you. Water physics seem pretty reasonable. The game in general feels very like fast paced, which is good. Ah. I keep wanting to like cancel my uh, jabs into an up attack, but that would be overpowered, I think. Oh, I think I'm already wearing that, so I can't equip it again. That makes sense. I don't think I even want this salt pile. Like, what am I... What am I going to do with it? Just realized the cursor was there the whole time. There's an option in Unity to... Wait, this is going to make her, isn't it? Never mind. <laughs> Frog meat good for you? Frog meat is new, is like true neutral to you. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so these guys are pretty weak to this combo. Except not. I clearly messed up. Like, if you let them start combo, they're actually dangerous. It's actually good that the mob enemies are strong. Like, just these random guys. You wouldn't expect much from them. And in a game like this, once you take damage, you're in trouble. Can they can, can climb, right? Oh, but they can't go down this. 
Uh, what did I throw? That didn't work. I thought it was going to explode. Oh no. That almost ended very poorly for me. That was a bad trade. So I can hit them up. And then... Do that. But they can use their down air like in the middle of the up attack. I don't know, like the AI and stuff seems pretty good. Uh, I've almost leveled up. More importantly, I'm also dying. Okay, resting gives me health. Does it constantly give me health? No. That would be stupid. It's hard to see what's going on here. Okay, I, don't, I can't get perks yet. And okay, that's the upgrade button, but I don't have skill points. Hmm. That's a nice effect. So the wall run is very brief, but th oh, that's so cool. The game is just so fast, like, the physics are just programmed in a really good way. It feels very speedrun friendly, and you can just do cool stuff like that if you time it right. So I'm guessing this is the type of game where like, yeah, each level might have a key and it might have a locked door like that one. So if you find a key, you should keep it with you. Uh, keep it with you until you find the locked door. This would be far easier with a D-pad, to be quite honest. And without double tapping. Frog meat was already confirmed to be useless. I don't want it. Not in position whatsoever. Was this an enemy? Oh! I should have known that would happen. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty cool experience. Um, roguelikes take a lifetime to play properly, so I was not intending to go that far. I've actually never even beat Spelunky. So it's not exactly my specialty, but that was a cool experience. The game is a lot more juicy than I expected at a glance. I feel like the actual programming work is really nice, and it just feels good to play. On a practical level, I would probably just... Is there really no way to enable D-pad? Well, to begin with... I don't know if... Wait a minute. Rebinding keyboard. Rebinding gamepad, okay. Throw, dodge, spells. Oh. Okay, you probably need the D-pad for spells, so then you need the analog for movement. Hmm. Is there a way around that? 
But I do always feel a bit slow um, using the analog stick for platformers. Finding some other way to dash instead of double tap might be useful. And um, this movement is not even analog, right? Like even if I press the analog stick forward just a little bit, I think I'm still moving at full speed. Um, yeah, like I'm trying to compare it to the keyboard here. Like I don't think the analog stick is being used for analog input. Therefore, I think there, I'm sure you could find some way to allow people to use D-pad instead. So that's probably the only thing I would really change. That and the double tapping. I wasn't really planning to do another run. Ow. I wasn't planning to do another run, but as I'm already here. How did I get that, like, huh? Okay, it's not a running attack, it's like a, a smash attack almost. Like you start running and then tap the attack button. Or I guess it's just like, what just happened? It's basically double tap attack. Yeah, the gameplay in that sense is just really cool. Like, there's so many attacks to use. It just feels inherently cool. And it just takes some getting used to because there's a lot of different things to keep in mind. Especially being able to dodge intelligently. Why won't it make any sound? Hmm. I feel like I shouldn't be able to jump this high, but I just kind of snap on top of it, on top of the platform. That's a little strange. First, I need to get out of here. Hold. Oh, oh, okay. This sounds more complicated. This sounds more simple. Oh, 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 that's what those things in the bottom right symbolize. Those are your first spells. Oops. Is that what they meant by use your arm as a weapon? <laughs> because I think I just like aged my arm or something incredibly dumb. <laughs> Not what I intended. Like I can use it again, but I think I will die if I use it. Yeah, it definitely takes some time to like learn all the different spells and stuff. And what does this do? Is this something that will also kill me if I use it? I mean, the the other things... There was some other thing I was consuming earlier that was like, it'll kill you. I have no way of getting that, I don't think. If I consume a papyrus, will it cast the spell on the enemy or on me? Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind. So what that did was it taught me a spell. Like that. And I, uh, I used it in a very stupid manner. But okay, back to what I was saying originally. That's pretty cool. It would take a long time to learn the game in detail, but I think you're off to a good start. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.